The idea of gazetting the selected Chinese new villages should be supported as it is a move that will preserve the history of these areas for future generations. According to Institute of Malay World and Civilization lecturer Faisal Tirani, these villages meet at least two out of ten selection criteria for UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The author also questioned why certain quarters are claiming that the proposal would negatively affect Bumiputra rights. Citing Kampong Morton in Malacca as an example, Faisal said the gazetting would give the site significant cultural status that brings in tourists, researchers and historians. Faisal also urged Amno leaders to take a page from Nga's proposal and attempt to preserve Malay villages. This comes after the party took the position that there is no necessity to make Chinese new villages UNESCO heritage sites. He said AMNO Deputy President Mohammad Hassan can do so with a few villages such as Kampong Lone in Negeri Sembilan, while its Supreme Council member Ahmad Maslan can do the same for villages in Pontian. Meanwhile, researcher and writer W.N. Kushairi said promoting a culture does not mean others are being dismissed. He said in a country known for its diversity and multiculturalism, those with the source and documents have the right to promote their culture.